Hi everyone! Today I'm going to share all the vegan restaurants that I went to while being in Brussels for a month. It was totally unexpected, but Brussels actually has so many great vegan restaurants as well as a lot of vegan options almost everywhere. So let's get started. We took a flight from Montreal to Brussels with Air Canada. We asked for a vegan menu. I had a glass of white wine since it was included in my ticket, so why not? The vegan option was actually pretty good. It was lentil biryani with steamed vegetables. It also included a salad with a side of hummus, a little bread, some fruits and a handful of chocolate almonds. We also watched American Pickle while eating. The first stop is Buddy Buddy, my absolute favorite cafe in Brussels. It's fully vegan and so delicious. We went back so many times I lost count. They also sell nut butters and delicious vegan pastries. Like seriously, I've never had a more delicious pain au chocolat in my life. They also sell cakes and donuts and all sorts of delicious things. For drinks, they have all the usual coffee drinks, but also creative drinks like praline hot chocolate and an almond butter chai latte. I really love and will miss this place so much. Next stop is Yummy Bowl, another favorite of mine. I honestly expected nothing because they specialize in salad bowls, which I'm usually not a fan of. However, they have a vegan Vietnamese pho, and it is seriously one of the best things I've ever had. It's so delicious. If you come here, you absolutely have to get it. They add fried rice rolls and a super delicious vegan chicken. I love it. This restaurant specializes in rice paper rolls. For the vegan options, they offer a miso soup, a salad, a steamed veggie bun, edamames, and a caramelized tofu rice roll. They also make their own hoisin sauce and sweet chili sauce, and it's pretty amazing. They have multiple locations in Brussels, and it's a great lunch. Next is Le Pain Quotidien. I love this place for breakfast and lunch. It has such great vegan options and it has multiple locations all over Belgium. It offers vegan croissants, tourbillons, which are really delicious and I recommend them, and some desserts as well as a lot of good sandwiches. You can't go to Belgium without having some waffles. Thankfully, Vegan Waff offers delicious vegan waffles with many options for toppings like chocolate, strawberry, and whipped cream. The waffles are made in front of you and they're so fluffy and delicious. I really recommend it. Another Belgian must is chocolate and Laurent Gerbeau was my favorite chocolaterie. I love that they clearly label which chocolates are vegan and that you can get a free chocolate if you get a drink. They also serve vegan hot chocolate. My favorite chocolates were the pralinated ones like the almond praline and the watched the nuts. Ellis is a chain restaurant in Belgium that offers great vegan options. They have a vegan burger and cheeseburger and even the famous Belgian fries served with vegan mayo. Next stop is Tish, a cafe that also serves lunch. This one I didn't like too much. The coffee is great and they have many vegan pastries. However, the avocado toast was basically just an entire avocado cut in half without any seasoning. It was pretty expensive for something that tasted bland. I'd only go here to grab coffee, but not lunch. Wagamama serves dishes based on Japanese cuisine and it has many vegan options. I didn't like the ambiance of this restaurant too much, but to be honest, the Japanese katsu curry was so good, so I'd recommend going here anyway. We also tried some sides and a Thai curry, but we didn't like that as much as the katsu curry. Le Botaniste is a fully vegan restaurant and wine bar. This place is so beautiful. 
We only went here for lunch, so we didn't get to taste any wine. The food was nothing too special, but it felt so good to eat bolognese pasta during a rainy and cold day. Their sushi and rice rolls were delicious as well. Chicago Trattoria was just amazing. They have two vegan pizzas and they were insane. They used the vegan cheese from a company in Brussels called Vegan Butcher's Choice. It was really, really great. Liu Lin is probably the place I was most excited of trying. It's a Taiwan-inspired fully vegan restaurant. I was, however, pretty disappointed. The restaurant itself is really cute and the vibes are really good, but the food was just bland. I got noodles and it seemed like they only sautéed vegetables in oil and added noodles to that. I just thought that everything lacked a little flavor and it was pretty bland. When you stay long enough in Brussels, you'll notice that people really love their sandwiches. The lines at bakeries are so long near lunchtime. A lot of bakeries have one vegan option. Our local bakery, Renard Bakery, has a really, really great vegan sandwich that was to die for. Lucifer Lives was so good. It's a fully vegan cafe and lunch place that also serves brunch on the weekends. They have really amazing food. Here I got an egg and bacon bagel. I definitely recommend going here. Next spot is the Judgy Vegan. It's a laid-back place that serves a lot of Belgian-inspired dishes that are veganized. It was so cool to try some traditional dishes. My mind wasn't blown by the food, but overall I'd recommend trying it out. For a little extra, not a restaurant, but a cookie bakery. Tough Cookie has three vegan cookies in the style of the New York City Levin Bakery. If you know, you know. These were so good, trust me. If you have a sweet tooth, you need to try them. This is not a restaurant, but a fully vegan grocery store called Vegas, and it was so great. We found products that we've never seen before, and it was so cool. They had tortellini, amazing cheeses, seitan ravioli, and lots of chocolate. Last but not least, coming from Canada, it was so cool to see so many fast food places having plant-based options. I've never expected so many restaurants that I used to love have great options. Burger King, Dunkin' Donuts, Domino's, and Pizza Hut are some that I've tried. Pizza Hut is definitely one that I've loved and I recommend. These are the Dunkin' Donuts. They're so cute. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed my full month of vegan eating in Brussels. See you next time.